What I'll say then, you know, just speaking to this idea of experience, participant experience data is that participant input can inform action. So every year, every two years, um, CISCRIP, which is the Center for Information and Study on Clinical Research Participants, every two years they do a survey of um, people's perceptions and insights of research. And they uh, in interview or survey people who are have been participants and also those who have not. And I would say that in this recent survey, they found some interesting findings that I found somewhat surprising. Um, and I will sort of point to a, a little silver lining of COVID. I know there aren't that many, and I don't want to over uh, aggrandize this one when I know things are very hard right now with the, the Omicron surge and everything else that's happening. But it has, COVID has changed people's awareness of clinical research studies. There has been a great increase or somewhat of an increase in people's awareness of research. And in that survey of almost 12,000 people, most said that they were willing to participate in clinical research. And more than one third of them cited being more willing to participate as a result of the pandemic. And so I really see this as like a, an opportunity to kind of strike while the iron is hot to kind of continue building relationships and forming inroads with groups and, and individuals and partners within your organization and outside around how to, um, again, bring more awareness to research and, and help support research recruitment into your studies. I also, um, really was interested to see because the sound bites that we sometimes see in the news are pretty negative around trust, trust in the government, trust in, in research and research centers, government research organizations and government regulatory agencies having a lot, having a really a great sense of, of trust of the public. And so again, if we can think about the fact that we're in these positions to be able to further um, good communication, clear communication about research, debunk any myths or help um, combat misinformation. That's something that we can really, I think, think about in terms of even just how we recruit for studies and inform people about studies.